CPUs have been continuously evolving over the years, but one thing's basically stayed the same. We still use thermal compound, paste, grease, or whatever you even want to call it at this point. Either way, today, I got my hands on a tube of thermal paste whose company doesn't even exist anymore. And with that, let's test how it performs. So I don't really need to introduce you to the Arctic Silver stuff since it's pretty much a common paste among enthusiasts nowadays. However, you probably have never heard of Zero Therm, and that's probably mostly due to the fact that they don't exist anymore. And yes, from a forum post titled Zero Therm Nirvana NV120, the hardware killer, it doesn't seem like they made the best products anyway. This paste is around 8 years old, so it's kind of turning into chalk. So let's fire up the test machine and ride the good old Ida64. I use the $10 Xeon as our heater, link to that in the iCard. The thermal blanket, also known as the Zero Therm paste, reached about 60 four degrees after 10 minutes of running a stress test and obviously i did the same thing for the arctic silver and i saw an average temperature of 61 degrees so yeah there isn't much of a difference between both of these even if there is an eight year gap between them and i was rather surprised with the result considering that the zero therm looked like chalk and was very stiff but i guess it performed well surprisingly now i'm starting to wonder why zero therm went out of business oh wait Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe. Anyways guys, I'm out, I'll see you in the next one.